now we go like this, and I'm pretty sure we, we take their entire tower. Because our Royal Giant is soaking for his minions, and his tower is just going to get absolutely eviscerated. What's up, everybody? It's Jerky here, and today I'm going to be participating in the Three Elixir Mirror Challenge. For those of you that don't know what this challenge is, essentially you and your opponent have the exact same deck, the exact same starting hand, but everything costs only three elixir. If you have like a Mega Knight in your hand, a Golem in your hand, it only costs three elixir. And the one twist is that both decks also have a mirror card as well. If you're thinking about strategy in general, you want to save your mirror for your most expensive card. So hypothetically, if you have three Musketeers, you could play your three Musketeers and then mirror those three Musketeers and that only costs you six elixir for six Musketeers. That's a very extreme example and most of the times it won't be as straightforward as that, but that's the general concept. So my one piece of advice for you is to play slow, kind of play reactive instead of proactive, and save your mirror for the most expensive card. Go ahead and experiment with it, have fun with it. You're gonna lose a couple times, you gotta figure out how to play the game mode. Before we get into some games, I just wanna ask anyone liking this video to please consider dropping a like or dropping a subscription to my channel. It's completely free for you. I post every day and it helps me a ton. So thank you, I really appreciate it, but let's get into some games. All right, into our match here. So right off the bat, I'm thinking Royal Giant or Cannon Cart will definitely be the cards that we want to mirror. I'm just going to chill. Okay, they do go for that. Notably, they do not have the mirror in hand, so they do not have the option to mirror their Royal Giant. So that'll be interesting. I'm going to try and DPS this down. Maybe bait out their Hunter and then go in with a Royal Giant of my own. Okay, so now at this point, they have nothing in hand for my mirrored Royal Giant. So we're going to play very defensive here. I'm going to let that all lock on. And then I'm going to go like this. And just like that, about 45 seconds into the game, we've taken their entire tower. <laughs> so that's what I mean with this, this game mode. You want to kind of be calm, cool, and collected. You want to think things out. In that example, I made sure he had nothing in hand to counter the Royal Giant and we took their entire tower. So that's an outstanding first game. I'll go ahead and cut to me winning, uh, save you some time, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, into our next match here. Right off the bat, I'm looking at the Sparky, I'm looking at the Ram Rider, and I don't wanna commit any elixir here. I just wanna chill. Okay, they do go for their Sparky. I'm gonna wait a minute, minute and then play my Sparky. I expect them to mirror their Sparky. I think I'm going to do the same and uh, get ready to play a zap here. Okay. I mistimed that. <laughs> but I'm also going to distract this Sparky here. My tower does an amazing job. We're going to go ahead and pressure hard here because we do have the advantage of having a Sparky down. And I think my opponent is going to struggle to defend this. Well, I guess I was right. Don't know if they disconnected. Don't know if they rage quitted, but three Sparkies on the board. That's going to be a good game. We'll go ahead and see you in the next one. For our next match here. Okay, so Giant Skeleton is actually so frustrating in this challenge. It's definitely the thing you want to mirror or the Phoenix. Um, so because of that, I'm going to reactively play my Phoenix, and then I'm going to block his Phoenix with my Giant Skeleton. It's a really good play there. My Phoenix is going to take care of the Egg, hopefully. Okay, yeah, barely. And we're going to chill. Unfortunately, the two cards that I wanted to mirror are out of cycle. Um, so that's annoying, but we're going to go like this. And uh, try to build up a nice push, honestly. Battle healers are low-key also. Super, super annoying. So, I might get a nice 3 Elixir Lightning here. Yeah, I'm gonna go like this, actually. I swear it's a good play. Now we have two battle healers and a Phoenix. And we're gonna get another battle healer down. And my boy is in trouble. Three battle healers is actually going to be a nuisance to stop. That Phoenix Egg is going to respawn. Those healers are all over the tower. And this game is already over. Just use your brain. Just be careful with what you're doing. Alright, so this game's pretty much over. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut to the end of the video and save you some time. So we see you there. 
how much spam we ended up getting down on the board. We didn't get the three crown, but that's a good game. See you in the next one. Okay, into our match here. This one not as straightforward. I'm not sure. Ram Rider or Zappies. Probably the card that we'll want to mirror. So I'm going to wait. Play reactive. I think that's the best thing to do. My opponent's leaking elixir, so I will play my Zappies. And just chill. Okay. They waited. They leaked a little bit of elixir. They play their knight. I'm going to do the same thing. So at this point, we should have the exact same cycle. The only difference being that they could mirror their zappies if they would like to. I think I'm going to save my mirror, though. Interesting. We're going to go like this, and we're going to get a really awesome log here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to ram rider. Mirrored ram rider. And that was, a, I think, a really bad move to go for that um, mirrored skeleton barrel. Because that just gave the log so much value. Yeah. So, tons of damage there from us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and reset this with an E-Wiz. Really good counter to the Ram Rider. It'll, we'll take, like, one shot because of that Zappy, but it's not a charge. Okay. Really good start. Okay. Skeleton Barrel in the back, I like doing that. You make them leak a little bit of Elixir before they respond. And if he does spend his log on it, that's fine with me. I'm going to opt to spend my Zappies because the log is an expensive counter. It's expensive. It's inflated by one Elixir. He's going to use it here most likely. Wisely goes for the E-Wiz. I do think that was a good move, to be completely honest. Ram Rider of my own on their Ram Rider. I think that's a great play. And then a well-timed E-Wiz. And then we're going to have a nice counter push. I don't agree with that log at all. He could he could mirror it here, possibly, but we're still going to get damage. Yeah, he does mirror it, but like I mentioned in this challenge, you want to be saving your mirror for other things. Okay, we're going to go Ram Rider. Ram Rider is actually a really good counter to the barrel. Zappy's going to help out as well. I want to avoid spending my log if I can, because like I mentioned, it's expensive. Relatively speaking. Some nice dual lane pressure. Force out the e -wiz. I might go for my the knight here to protect my e -wiz. And, uh... Zappies here. Ram Rider of my own to counter this. And we're gonna have a nice counter push on both sides. He has to defend the right and the left. I'm gonna e -wiz here just to be safe. I don't know if I needed it, but I was, I was a little scared. I'm not gonna lie. He has to spend a lot on that side. I think we're going to take the right tower as well as the left tower. So, one of a closer a closer match, but well played. We'll see you in the next one. All right, into our next match here. So this one's interesting. You might think you want to mirror the P.E.K.K.A. That's probably the best, but you want to make sure that they don't have good counters in hand. So they do that. I'm going to actually Phoenix. And uh, see if I can get a cheap defense with the Skarmy, and then save up my Mirror P.E.K.K.A. And then save my Log for- I think that's what we want to do here. No, no, I, what, I, I panicked. I panicked, Chad, I panicked. Okay. Okay, we're fine, though. We're going to keep that in mind for the future. So they still have a Skarmy, and I, I meant to save my P.E.K.K.A. I'm going to make a mental note that, note that that was a mistake. Maybe we can Log the Skarmy here. Most likely going to play that. And that was well played. Wow. That's going to be a ton of damage for us. You're going to... Yeah, he goes for that as well. I actually didn't have the Skarmy in hand. So now we're going to go like that. That was a lot of Elixir spent on that push. They spent 9 Elixir. Um, they don't have a Skarmy in hand, if I'm not mistaken. Nor do they have a Log. Because they spent that... Oh, they do have the Skarmy. Okay, 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 okay. My fault, my fault. One card off on their elixir tracking. But uh, he's in trouble, I think. My P.E.K.K.A. gets the swing first, so that's awesome. I think my Phoenix responds. Ooh, almost does. Okay. Uh, gets away with the cheeky one. But I like our cycle here. We're okay. I'm going to go like this. Go like this. I don't want to scar me here. I'm going to scar me like this. 
Ho Royal Hogs defensively here. And we're going to wait to play our log. Okay, that's a good log for us. He wants to mirror his Skarmy on the right, most likely. Goes for the log instead. So now he can't mirror his Skarmy. That Phoenix Egg is not going to respawn, but that's okay. We do take that other tower. We need to get ready for him to go in for our Hogs. That's really the only way he takes our tower. Okay, we're going to go like this and get ready to mirror our Skarmy if, they, if we need it. We don't need it, really. Okay, he gave us a lot of lot log value here, so I'm going to take that, to be completely honest. And we did lose our tower, but if you look at our counter push here, it's nasty. It's a nasty counter push. We're going to go like this, then go like this, and then go like this. And if we need a log, we can, but I don't think we will. And my man was absolutely being pretty greedy with what he spent right there. I think he's going to regret all that they spent. And look at how much elixir we have down right now. It's absolutely insane. So that's a, that's a good example of not panicking. We weren't out the gates amazing. Um, but we chilled and we ended up making good decisions. And we won the game. So that's an awesome game. We'll see you in the next one. And the next match here. Okay, this one's tricky. I think mirroring graveyard is the best move. Um, but I want to do it and get like a nice counter push. So I'm going to go like this. I don't agree with spending a spirit. I think in this game mode, you almost never want to defend a spirit. So we're going to go in now because we do have that counter push. And I want to mirror my graveyard. Okay. And even a naked graveyard does a lot of damage. It's interesting. It's very surprising, actually. Okay. Now the defense is a little scary. I'm not going to lie. Once that locks on, we're going to go like this. And uh, that was a scary defense, but we're okay. And now our cycle's really good. He actually defended that right side pretty well. I'm, I'm surprised. Nice. Defensive minor. That's always a good thing. Since Executioner is a 5 elixir card, it's kind of a steal. Um, so you want to be playing that often. And if I can avoid playing Log and Ice Spirit, that's absolutely what I'm going to gonna try and do. Okay. He spends that, so I'm going to go in for the Miner, have the Miner tank for the Graveyard. Okay. Mirrored E-Barbs. Good to know, good to know, good to know. We're going to have to be very, very careful on defense here since we don't have our Executioner. Go like this, actually. Have our XE down. We're going to take a little bit of Graveyard damage here, but it's necessary. Part of the process. Another XE here, both towers targeting... Okay, and for the massive push that he had here, we actually made it out okay. Okay, mildly scathed. Okay, we're just going to chill. It almost seems like the graveyards aren't getting as much damage as we'd hoped that they would. I'm going to go opposite lane here, and I don't want to spend more elixir. I'm going to set up a defense here. That's a mistake that I think I've been doing. Yeah, because he's mirroring his e-barbs and getting a ton of value with that. So I need to fix my cycle here. Because I think what I want is to mirror the E-Barbs. And instead I'm, I'm mirroring the Executioner. And I think that's a mistake. Okay. So at some point in time we're going to have to spend an overpriced card in order to properly defend. So now I'm going to go for an Executioner. Now I'm pro my cycle is properly lined up to mirror E-Barbs if that's what I want to do. And I think that's what I want to do. I'm going to go like this. And then set up a defense. Executioner is such a good answer, though. That's the unfortunate part. Okay. Right. He's playing very, very well. Mr. for a three elixir graveyard of his own. That's very well played. I think we might get him here, though. Yeah, that, that graveyard was actually super aggressive by them. And so I think we're going to steal a win here. Wow. Really good mid-game adaptation. Almost threw that one away, but we clutched up. Good game. We'll see you in the next one. Into our next match here. So I would say Three Musketeers is probably the card we want to be mirroring. But we'll go ahead and see. Yeah, they play Cannon Cart first play. I think that's a good move. We don't want to get trapped into playing our mirror here. It's not ideal. I will cycle my bandit. Yeah, they do the same thing. I think that's the right play. 
I don't agree with the um, the miner though, but we'll see how this plays out. Yeah. Okay. Goes for the witch, so I'm gonna go like this. And like I mentioned, I do want to mirror my three muskies if I can. Okay, we're gonna have something nice over here. Okay, good rocket. I forgot that rocket was even an option, to be honest. Okay, let's see if we get anything. Nope, good Skarmy. Skarmy almost negates the mirrored three musketeer. It's interesting. Miner, just to be safe. I don't want that cannon cart to lock on. Okay. We do actually get a lot of damage on the right. I need to keep in mind that they have a rocket. That was so interesting as Supercell to put a rocket in with the three musketeers. There really is no good response to the, the Skarmy, though. Like, if you do play a skeleton army, like, there's no log, there's no splash. So, definitely want to keep that in mind. Okay. I'm going to put one musketeer on that side. If they rock at the right side, I'm actually fine with that. Okay. Like I said, I'm fine with that. Because Skarmy gets such a positive elixir trade. Like, look at how much work that Skarmy did. That was beautiful. Okay. They do that. I will take the rocket, though. Probably have to spend a Skarmy on the right side. Yep, that's fine with me. We're going to play our three muskies again. They opt for the rocket. Good value. We're just going to end up Skarmying on the right side here. Okay. They take that as well. Like I mentioned, there's no good answer that we've seen for the, the Skarmy quite yet. The Witch does an okay job, but like not that good of a job. Oh, unfortunately, we got a cannon cart that locked on. That was a mistake by me. It's going to be close to rocket range. We need to be careful. See, if he's crazy, you can go for rocket mirrored rocket. But uh, I don't know if he's going to be able to do that in time. That's what I think he was going for. I think he was trying to go for the rocket mirror rocket. So, not our best game, but somehow we clutched up a win. So, we'll see you in the next one. Our next match here. There are no good answers to minions other than minions. Like, if you look at this. So, minions absolutely needs to be the card that we're mirroring. And we need to do it safely. So, we, I need to get that into my head right now. That I, the only card that I should be mirroring is the minions. So we've noticed that... Okay. Hey, this dude's crazy. I think he's going to lose, like, immediately. Okay, so we want to mirror the minions. Let's get that through our skull right now. Because that is the only answer to minions or minions. So he does not have his mirror in hand, right? That's what we figured out. So we're going to have our sacrificial royal giant here. And we're going to go like this. We need to protect our minions. Like that, that's... The minions are the trump card in this matchup. Okay, it kind of works out for us. Not as much as I would have hoped. But our cycle is aligned to mirror the minions. Like you can see, he mirrored the, the royal giant. That's what he was thinking. But he ended up getting no damage for it. Granted, we didn't get any damage either. But I still think that that's the play. Because other than that, there is literally no card that counters minions. So hopefully we can bait out the minions here. Please, 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 please. Okay, beautiful. Now we go like this, and I'm pretty sure we, we take their entire tower. Because our royal giant is soaking for his minions, and his tower is just going to get absolutely eviscerated. That was 100% because we identified at the beginning of the match that minions were the thing that we needed to mirror. And it's an instant three crown. That's insane. Oh my god gosh wow i can't believe that good game though well played we'll see you in the next one and we're a match here i feel like it will either be the giant skeleton or the e-barbs that we want to mirror so i'm gonna wait and see what they play i don't want to make the first move interesting that they play their archers first i feel like that's a waste but maybe that's just me We'll have a 3 Elixir Lightning if they counter with their own E-Barbs. There it is. 
Yep, I don't think he was expecting that play. Yep, beautiful. Interesting, uh, heal spirit. I'm gonna go like this. DPS all of this down. E-barbs of our own. And this is gonna be a long game. Whenever there's a giant skeleton involved, it is always so hard to break through. Always. Goes for the lightning. I'm gonna get ready to lightning on their E-barbs. Like I said, I think it's a good play when you can also hit the tower. Beautiful. Beautiful start. Beautiful start. Okay, they go for the late E-barbs. Archer's really low here. Giant Skeleton low as well. And good start. I think Mirror in the E-barbs has proven to be the move, as well as Lightning their E-barbs. Okay, I'll probably just block with the Giant Skeleton if I had to guess. Yeah, I've seen that movie before. Okay. Okay, that was one of the worst princesses I've ever seen. I'm gonna kite this back with an elixir golem. Take a lightning here. Hit both of the E barbs. And uh, that tower on the, the left is gone. And that tower on the right is most likely gonna fall. And then again, defending their E barbs with a giant skeleton. Don't wanna give them any lightning value. So I would say that uh, this game is already over. I'm just gonna go like this. And um, we'll go ahead and cut to the end where I win the game. So I'll see you over there. Nice. So saved you some time there. We do get the GGs. I'll see you in the next one. Nine wins in nine wins in here. All right. Into our next match. So I didn't take a full great look at the deck, but I would imagine lava is what we're going to want to be mirroring. Probably. And I'm, I'm nervous about cycling my rascals, but they do the same. Oh, I could have rocketed there. That probably would have been a better play, actually. Yeah, I'm going to do it right now, actually. It's only three licks of rocket. Oh, wait a minute, but I wanted to save my mirror for the Lava Hound. That's why I didn't do that. Oh, wait, I still have it, actually. Okay, they burn their bats. No bats, no rascals. I'm going to go like this. Mirror my Lava Hounds. And get ready to hunt her on theirs, I think is the move. Actually, we do have a lot of air defense in general. So we're going to see once that locks on. Now we're going to pressure with our rascals. He actually did not mirror their... They did not mirror their Lava Hound. And this is actually a really good rocket. Kind of a weird play, but it works. And so they do the defend a, a reasonable amount. Truthfully. But probably not as good as he would have liked. So we're going to do our thing. Get this out of the way first. Eat a little bit of damage, and that's fine. Hunter goes in front. That's a big mistake. These rascals are going to clean it all up. Beautiful. Beautifully. Very, very well played so far. If I do say so myself. Oh, I missed the rascal girls with that rocket. So I literally hit nothing with that rocket. That's a mistake. I meant to hit the, the rascal ladies, but that's fine. <laughs> it's still kind of messing him up a little bit. That's crazy. Wow. He had two rascal girls down and it didn't even matter. See, the issue with, with him is is they're not properly aligning your cycle to mirror the Lava Hound. And that's just a mistake. We're pressuring very, very well so they aren't able to, but that's just a flaw in their game, their game plan. I'm going to take these, uh, the rocket on the rascals like I've been doing. And uh, do our thing like we've been doing. And there's zero chance that that doesn't get any damage on the tower. Like, it just, there's no way. Yeah, I was going to say. And then we want to spread out our things just to make sure that we don't give them rocket value. And I don't even know what I just rocketed. I think I rocketed like nothing, but it doesn't matter. We played good enough from the beginning to clutch out this dub. Okay, so well played to us. Hopefully you learned a thing or two and uh, we'll go ahead and see you in the next one. Right into the next match here. Any of the five elixir cards like the barbarians or the wizard, I, I think since wizard counter the barbarians, those are going to be the cards that we want to cycle or mirror, excuse me. 
But we'll see. I'm tempted to go for Magic Archer lineup on that, but I, I don't think it's a good play. So we're going to play our Marcher low here. Yeah, they do the same thing. Mm, they mirror the Magic Archer. I don't know about that. Okay, Ram Rider is actually going to help out here immensely. Okay. I'm actually just going to go like this. And uh, I don't know what he's going to play on this. Maybe Barbs, I guess, would be... No, I was going to say, Log isn't going to do it. So I don't know about that. And our wizard cleans up literally everything. So pretty good start there. Kind of what I th I thought. I think Ram Rider might be the card to mirror. Anytime you can mirror a card and it gets a ton of value defensively as well as offensively, that's the card you want to mirror. You never want to do what that individual just did. He just played three Elixir Skeletons. Don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. Okay, bad timing with them playing the Magic Archer. Again, I just don't agree with that. Like, mirroring the Wizard makes sense. Mirroring the Ram Rider makes sense. But I don't think mirroring the, the Marcher is the way to go. Two Ram Riders are going to help out a ton on defense. Wizard here. And he might go for Wizard of their own or Barbs of their own. But we'll have a nasty counter push here. Yeah. Very nice. And those are just going to get melted. <laughs> I think we're going to get a Magic Archer lineup as well. No, we don't. But yeah. You can see the reason that those Ram Riders were so powerful is because they provided defensive value and offensive value. So keep that in mind with the cards that you're mirroring. I think that's a good rule of thumb. And Stone Cycle Skeletons. This man does not watch my videos because that is a horrible play. Okay, now I'm going to go like this. I will be able to mirror my Ram Rider if I so choose. I'm going to go in aggressively just because we're up Elixir and this guy's not playing very well. Good wizard as well. It's going to melt those barbarians. Take the tower. He finally mirrors a reasonable card. That's good. Okay. Mm, Ram Rider late here. I'm going to log because I don't want that to get the charge. And then I'm going to log one more time because I'm playing extra conservatively. I know, I know. It's not the best play. Okay, then we're going to go like this, and then like this. Never once have I played my skeletons this entire game, chat. Never once. And you shouldn't either. Okay. Kind of went in the defensive mode there, but we got the dub. That's all that matters. So that's a good game. We'll see you in the next one. Our final match here for 12-0. I think maybe we can do it. Notably, the P.E.K.K.A. is probably the card to mirror, but we also don't have really good air defense. Okay, they go for it right off the bat. And they might go for a Bomber here. No, they do that. And I think that's a, a mistake. I mistimed those Goblins, but it actually doesn't matter. So I want to point out that the only air defense that this deck has is the Baby Dragon. So I'm going to go like this. We're going to take some damage. But I think it's going to be worth it. I really do. So, there's going to be some nice DPS. He has nothing to play for the balloon. That Pekka is just getting melted. The baby dragon's getting melted. I don't even really need to go in for the hog rider. Like, this is already tower down. I thought it would be a little more um, intense for our 12th win, but... That's just how this game mode goes. You can totally get quick wins if you're cognizant of the cards you're playing. So that's 12 wins. Let's go, boys. All right. So yeah, there it is. 12 wins, no losses. We'll go ahead and collect our banner here. And that's going to wrap up today's video. Good luck to everyone competing in the challenge. I hope it's not too frustrating for you. Be calm. Be collected. Don't rush into playing your cards. Use your noggin a little bit and you'll be fine. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in a video soon.